Hey everybody, welcome to another segment of Pilates P's and Q's. I hope that you guys have been trying out some of those foot intrinsic core and a lot of the ankle mobility stuff that I've been posting. I really appreciate all the love that everyone's been showing for them. And this is why I put together my Do You Even Rotate Mobility and Pilates module or a online course. Now, I don't wanna just come on here to advertise you purchasing my course, but my posts and putting that course together was really about seeing the lack of rotation that we utilized in our movement practices. And I'm not just talking about turning parallel and working with our feet and knees forward and not just external rotation. I feel like a lot of internal rotation in every joint, not just the hips, but in our ankles, our knees, our hips, our shoulders, even our elbows and wrists, a lot of that tends to go undertrained and unnoticed. And it actually is quite important. Now, why don't we rotate anymore? I don't know. I know that when we do have issues, Internal rotation is a huge indicator on the health of our joint. So why not train it? That's why I came up with this course that focuses on just hitting you with all sorts of rotations in different positions for the joints that are listed in that course. So keep showing those rotational posts. Love, I really appreciate your feedback. If you wanna send me a video or tag me in a post, please do, I love being able to connect with you beyond the screen. Keep exposing yourself to all sorts of rotational movement in all sorts of directions. Consider working out of asymmetry and perfect alignment. I'm gonna continue sharing those posts here, showing how the rotational work and the stuff that I post integrates and greatly benefits and affects your Pilates exercises yoga poses, and basically anything movement related. If you're looking for something specific, give, leave me a comment and let me know. Keep rotating those joints and I'll see you next week.